Hi, welcome back. This is Rakesh Nai. Today we are going to see how to find time complexity of recursive function using master's theorem. But before we start, a small information I'd like to say. As you know, we produce every video in two different languages. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, kindly follow the link given in the description. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get regular updates from this channel. So, let us start. In our previous video, we have seen that how to find time complexity of recursive function by using substitution method. In this video, we are going to learn how to find time complexity of recursive function using master's theorem. Basically, the master's theorem goes like this. If the recursive function is in this form, like if tn is equal to a into t n by b plus theta of n to the power k log to the power p n where a is greater than or equal to 1, b is greater than or equal to 1, k is greater than or equal to 0 and p is any real number. Then there are some conditions. If a is greater than b to the power k then the complexity of this particular function will be theta of n to the power log base b a. The second condition is if a equal to b to the power k then we will compare the value p whether it is greater than minus 1 equal to minus 1 or less than minus 1 if p is greater than minus 1 then the complexity of the given function tn will be theta of n to the power log base b a log to the power p plus 1 n if p is equal to 1 then this is the complexity and if p is less than minus 1 then the complexity of the given function will be theta of n to the power log base b a. Now one more condition is there if a is less than b to the power k again we have to check the condition with p. If p is greater than or equal to 0 then the complexity of the given function will be theta of n to the power k log to the power p n and if p is less than 0 then the complexity of the given function will be theta of n to the power k. Now while seeing it for the first time it seems to be very difficult. If we will use this formula to do some problem and get some complexity then gradually it will become habituated to you and you will be able to remember it. Let us start understanding master theorem by doing some example. Here the recurrence relation given to us is tn equal to 7 t n by 2 plus n square. Now we will take the recurrence relation given in the master's theorem. That is tn equal to a t n by b plus theta of n to the power k log to the power p n. And we will compare this with the given recurrence relation. Here you can say a becomes 7, b is 2, k is 2 and p value is 0. Now we will take a and b to the power k and compare them. Here a is greater than or equal to b to the power k. 7 is greater than or equal to 2 to the power k. So we will apply the first formula where a is greater than b to the power k is there. So in that case the complexity will be theta of n to the power log base b a. So the complexity of this particular function is theta of n to the power log base to 7. Very easy if you remember the formula. Let us do one more problem. Find the complexity of this recursive function. That is tn equal to 4 t of n by 2 plus x into n square where x is any integer. Now again the same process we let off. We will compare the recursive function given in the master's theorem with the recursive function given in the question. If we will compare, we will get a to be 4, b to be 2, k is nothing but 2 and p is equal to 0. After finding the value of a, b, k and p, we will compare a and b to the power k. Now you can see 
a is equal to 4 and b to the power k that is 2 to the power 2 is equal to 4. So equal to condition is satisfying. Next we have to check what is the value of p. Whether p is greater than minus 1, less than minus 1 or equal to minus 1. Now in this case p value is 0. So p is greater than minus 1. If p is greater than minus 1 then this is the way we need to find the time complexity. And in this function, if we substitute a, b and p value, we will get the result. So, t n will be theta of n to the power log base 2, 4, then log to the power 1, n. And if we will solve it, we will get theta of n square log. Let us take one more problem. The recurrence relation given here is t n equal to 2 t n by 2 plus n by log n. Again, we will be comparing the recurrence relation given in the master's theorem and find the value of a, b, k and p. Here a value is 2, b value is 2, k is 1 and p equal to minus 1. Why minus 1? Because log to the power p n and log term is in the denominator. So the p value will be minus 1. Now we have to find the value of a and b to the power k and then compare. Now here a is 2, b to the power k is 2. So here a and b to the power k value are same and p value is minus 1. Accordingly we will find the rule and we will apply the value of a and b. So for this particular recurrence relation the complexity will be theta of n log log n. Let us take one more problem. Here the recurrence relation given is t n equal to 2 t of n by 2 plus n by log square n. You can see here a value is 2, b value is 2, k value is 1 and p value is equal to minus 2. If we compare a and b to the power k, both of them will be same. And when both of them are same and p value is less than minus 1, then we will apply 2c that is p n value will be theta n to the power log base b a. So we will substitute the value of b and a that is 2 n 2. It is nothing but theta of n. Let us do one more problem. The recurrence relation given here is t n equal to 6 t n by 3 plus n square log n. Now if we will take the recurrence relation given in the master's theorem and compare and find the value of a, b, k and p, we will find a equal to 6, b equal to 3, k equal to 2 and p equal to 1. And let us compare a and b to the power k. So you can see 6 is less than 3 square, that is 9. So we will be applying the formula 3a. And here value of p is greater than or equal to 0. The value we found is 1. So this particular formula will be using Tn equal to theta of n to the power k log to the power p n. So only k and p value will substitute it here. It is done. So the complexity of this particular recurrence relation is theta of n square log n. This is the last problem. Tn equal to 2 t of n by 3 plus n square by log n. Here you can see a value is 2, b value is 3, k value is 2 and p is equal to minus 1. Now compare a and b to the power k. You can see 2 is less than equal to 3 square. We will apply 3b as the value of p is minus 1 and p is less than 0. So the complexity will be tn equal to theta of n to the power k and k value is 2. So, the complexity of this recurrence relation is t n equal to theta of n square. So, these are the few problems that we did to find time complexity by using master's theorem. If you understood it, give me a like and share it with your friends. In our next video, we are going to discuss about how can we compare the order of growth of two different functions. It means which function is going to reach infinity faster than the other one. See you then. Take care. Bye.